Good evening, Floss Tube. It's your girl Lori here, also known as Sharky Stitcher on this channel and on Instagram. We talk about cross stitching on this channel. It's fun. Welcome. Glad to have y'all. So tonight I've got some very, very exciting things. I've got two framed finishes or FFOs, fully finished objects, from Rental Studios. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know what you're about to see. And then I've got some giveaways going on tonight, but I'm going to save them for later. So yeah, I just got to wait on those. And then I got a few other announcements going on just for like end of year type stuff, some sales to be looking out for and all that kind of things. So anyways, first things first, I got my Taj Mahal mandala from Chatelaine that I finished 2020, I think. Uh, I sent it off to Rental Framings this year and I finally received it. And I also sent off uh, Nor Corbet's Pisces Zodiac Girl. I sent them both off together to be framed and I have both of them back in my possession and I'm going to show them to you and I'm going to do that first because <laughs> Taj Mahal Mandala is big. I'm going to have a hard time putting it in frame. We're going to do the best we can. I think I probably will shoot like a dedicated video to just the framing in a you know maybe after this one or so maybe when I can use sunlight to my advantage because I tend to film at night because then my birds asleep and not being noisy <laughs> so but anyways I'm going to show you the rental framing pieces first because Taj Mahal is really big and I have kind of booted um waiting for ships back to the bathroom so I could put Taj Mahal right here because let me just show it to you and I'll talk about it so you guys have something fun to look at while I'm doing it. So, <laughs> oh my God. Dun, 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 dun. Look at it, oh my God. It's so beautiful. Oh my God. But it's also so big. So, uh, a few details on this. Um, trying to pop it up. Okay, never mind my ring light. Can't do nothing about that. Um, this glass is art glass and it is the anti-reflective. It is the second most expensive glass. Um, the most expensive I think is like archival glass or something like that. But I just wanted, I wanted glass because this is silk. This is over dyed fabric. If it gets dirty, I'm not going to be able to wash it without ruining things. Also, it's got lots of beads and crystals and whatnot on there, and I don't fancy dusting them over time because I want this to be hanging on my walls for quite a while. So I like the idea of glass for such pieces like this. But the problem with glass a lot of times is it sometimes dulls the shine. Um, if you get regular glass, which is on um, Mermaid of the Pearls back there, and you know, she's fine with her regular glass. You know, sometimes it works out. But for this one, I wanted to spend a little bit more so the thing about this glass, it's anti-reflective, meaning, as you can see, I mean, it's reflecting the light there, but for the most part, you can see things pretty good. And it also, you can see it sparkling. It doesn't dull the shine of the beads or the metallics at all. I mean, the first thing my son said when I pulled it out of the box and showed it to him, he was like, oh, well, wow, that's sparkly. So it does not dull the shine of the beads, which is key for me. Um, it has up to 70% protection from UV rays, which where I'm hanging this, I'm not worried about that. There's not going to be a window where light's hitting it directly or anything like that. Um, but it, the glass is a little bit more expensive, but it's not the most expensive one. So, yeah. And they have kind of a price breakdown on their website as to kind of what their glass prices are going to be. But let me get you closer because these mats are kind of cool. I'm not going to be able to get the whole thing in frame, but I will do what I can. And again. See, look at those cuts in the corners. Isn't that cool? I love that. So we've got kind of a aqua colored mat, kind of a dusty pinky purple, a green, and then a, oh, let's see if I can get closer. This inner mat is, see, it's sparkly. It's like pearlescent. I don't, I don't even know what to call it. It's like silver flake, maybe they called it. I can't remember, but it's so cool. I love it. And I love this frame. I told them that gold is not my favorite, but there is some gold in this piece. So they said, well, we've got a frame that's kind of between gold and silver. And I was like, oh, perfect. And I love how the scrolls in the frame kind of echo the scrolls in the design. 
Rental Studios is kind of known for doing like embellished and fancy cuts in their mat. I wanted the fancy cuts just because, you know, look how fancy, you know, all the arabesque patterns are in this. Very Taj mahal -y. Um, But I didn't want the embellishments because like this is pretty busy as it is. I didn't want to make the mat busy too, you know. So, but I did like the shapes and oh, I'm so happy with it. It's kind of just what I wanted for this piece. I will say, Rental Studios is not cheap, but as far as I understand, neither is Michael's. <laughs> and their quality fanciness is definitely not what Rental Studios does. So, um, I find it worth the investment, you know, especially, I I don't know that I, <laughs> don't know that I'll send any more Mirabilas or Nora Corbets there, but I'm thinking maybe my Chatelaines. So, lucky me, I don't finish Chatelaines every month <laughs> you know maybe one a year if i'm lucky but anyways wanted to show this to you guys first that <laughs> way i can put it back so it's not at like my feet the whole time but look at the sparkles oh my god i love it this is heavy too and one reason it is sitting in here for the time being is because it's so heavy my walls are like plaster for the most part so i'm gonna have to use like some molly bolts and some fancy stuff let me show you the back too if y'all want to see what the back like. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Yeah, here's what the back looks like. They have a little tag for the, the glass that they use, the fancy glass. So, a little rental studio tag. I'll, I'll show you that on the, the other piece I'm gonna show you that I have to show you. It'll be easier to see there. <laughs> here we go. And this is probably gonna be sitting back here for a little while now until I get the courage up to, um, actually frame it on the wall and have faith that it's not going to fall off and shatter my new expensive glass. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Very happy with that. She's probably gonna be sitting up there for a little bit. Oh, she's so pretty. You can't see how nice. I've been staring at her so much. Like, mm. the only thing that bothers me a little bit is um, with Chatelaines, they're Kind of, they're, well, it's a mandala. They go many different ways. And the way it was sent to me, you know, with the framing, I did not specify to them, can you frame it so that my top legs go from left to right? Because for, for, for most part, that's how my crosses go. And they turned it from where I, which, how would they know? They'd have no clue. And I didn't specify it. And I didn't really think it mattered. Because there's not really an up on a Chatelaine, you know. So, like, the only thing that bothers me is the way they have the framing hung on it. When I look real close, my crosses are the other way they usually are. And that kind of bothers me. I can fix it. I can unscrew one of those and move it. But they've done it so nicely. You know, it's like... I don't know if I want to let it bother me that much, let me just say. So, but it is making me feel a little bit compulsive. So, we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, next one does not have that issue, and it also does not have glass. This is Nora Corbet's Zodiac Girl Pisces. She's so much lighter, too, because <laughs> she doesn't have glass. But let me get you close. Look at her. So pretty, pretty love her and this one i elected to go no glass but i decided to have them embellish the mats it was kind of like a, a trade-off like i knew i was going to be paying more for glass on that one i knew i wanted embellishments with this one so just to kind of cut the cost of going for embellishments on this one i decided to omit the glass and i don't know like it's a smaller piece yes it's over dyed it's not silk though the, the fabric's the only over dyed thing it does have a lot of beads and stuff on it, but I don't know. I just decided, yeah, I'm just not going to get glass on this one. And I think if I did get glass, I probably would have just gotten regular glass. So, but yeah. I love this frame, too. It's so weird. Like, I would never have thought of it, but it matches my fabric perfectly. And, yeah, I like the sparkles that are on the top mat, which is like a black velvet mat. And they added, like, little little starbursty things on there because I told him I wanted it to be like a spacey thing so yeah if you want I can make like 
a special video showing these a little bit better and just talking about the experience of ordering through rental because it is kind of a thing you know it takes a while you have to send your stuff off to them they're in utah uh then there's a process of picking your mats and everything and your frames and then you wait <laughs> you know so uh yeah if you want me to make a video on that let me know but i am very happy with her she will probably get framed hung in here i'm thinking maybe hanging her over here somewhere i might have to move my stephanie law painting somewhere so, but we'll see. But for now, I've just been kind of propping her up right here. And that's been doing just fine. So, those are my fully finished framed pieces from Rental Studio. I've always wanted something framed by Rental Studio. Uh, I remember back in the day on the Teresa Wensler bulletin board, that's when I first heard of them. And, you know, she was embellishing the mat. She was cutting things cool, you know, and always really wanted to send one out and Taj Mahal is the first one that I'm like we're, we're treating ourselves we're getting something fancy for you girl you know especially because my regular framer who did uh, Mermaid of the Pearl was retired so like there was no way I could go to her to do this one and even so I think I would have sent this one off to Rental Studio I might have gone to her for this one but as it is right now I have no local framer like I said I don't I rental studios they're they're expensive and plus i a big portion of the cost for it to come back to me that was 125 dollars through eps so you know that was a big part of the cost right there you know so i do need to find a local framer that can do like my more simplistic pieces you know because i'm bougie when it comes to framing i like mats and i usually don't like just one color mat i like a cup a couple you know it just looks a little bit neater in my opinion it's how i like my pieces to be so, but yeah, I think I will maybe indulge for my Chatelaines, but it's going to be a minute before I get another Chatelaine finished. So that's good because I can save money. <laughs> okay. Um, next thing let's get into, we are doing giveaways tonight, but I am going to save that for the last. You guys got to see the fully framed objects first. So now you got to wait for the giveaways for last. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, a few things, Chatelaine sales. Let's talk about that just because that's a current thing. Right now there is a, basically like a Black Friday sale that's been going on for um, European Cross Stitch, the company that sells the kits for the Chatelaine designs. That sale started on the 15th of November and it goes until the 30th. When you go there and you shop for Chatelaine kits, you will not see the sale price. You don't need a code. You add the stuff to your cart and when you go look at the cart, it'll have taken the discount off. I think it's like 10%. If you like Chatelaines, it, they're typically expensive kits. Now's a good time to buy them. They have multiple different options for you. They have, right now, the Glorianas are pretty much an endangered species. <laughs> and they take forever to order. So, if you want something quick, you can order just the bead packs. Which, I do that a lot. Because every time I have ordered just bead packs, I get them like within a week or so. And y'all know I love my beads and my sparkles and my treasures and what I call my baby rattle mail. Like if I get my package and it makes baby rattle noises, I'm <laughs> real excited. So that's a good thing to do, especially if you're not sure which one you want. You can just buy the bead pack, you know, not all the fibers yet. You can also buy the packs of the fibers. And by fibers, I mean the silks, the metallics any over dyed threads, if there's any like pearls or anything like that, those are in it. The only thing that's not in it is DMC. Also, if a piece typically requires NPI silk, whether it's five colors or the entire chart, you can specify whether you want the MPIs only. If you want fibers, but no Glorianas, no MPI, like you can customize what you're getting. So a lot of people lately, I think, are doing the kits minus the Glorianas, and then they're just kind of calling around and trying to source the Glorianas on themselves because the Glorianas were taking a while. Like, I have an order from April of, is it this year? Or is it? Gosh. I do have an order. I think it was from, gosh, when was it? I can't even think. Um, but I, I do have a pending order where I ordered... Um, I ordered some bead packs and then I made a second order for the kits because I buy all the threads. Like, I don't mind waiting. I'm not starting it the second I get it. 
Me, it's more I'm taking advantage of the sale and kitting up my shad lanes, you know, because I do want to start a whole bunch of them. So, um, which that's another thing I'll get into. So I had made an order where I ordered some bead packs and I ordered some threads and I'm still waiting on some of the threads. I think it was for the Violet Patch Mandala, which I have the bead pack for it already. I had ordered the threads for some of the smaller ones, like the, um, there's an iris and an orchid, like little almost bell pull type thing. So I'd ordered the threads for that. There's another smaller mandala, like, like real small. Um, Freesia crystals, I ordered the threads for that. It was a small kit, you know, and I just, eh, decided to order it. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, that's a good thing to do now. And with the European cross stitch sale that goes on until the 30th. So you have until then, they typically also have a sale in April, but you know, things can change. So if you're really wanting something now, now's the time to get it. But just keep in mind, a lot of times in April, there's another sale, so. But, you know, don't quote me on that. Things can change. And then there is the sale at the Chatelaine Designs website, which is where you get the PDF patterns. And that is it's the end of the month. I don't remember the exact date. It's like the 28th or something. And is it 20% off, I think? So if you're getting your PDFs, that is the time to get them. And, uh... I think there's a code, but it's posted like on Chatelaine's Instagram and it's posted on uh, the website, I think. So I, I know I shared it on my Instagram. So the, there should be a code there for that. And don't forget it because last <laughs> last year I went and I ordered a chart one like one. I think it was uh, Pom, not Pomerium, uh, Pompeji Garden. And <laughs> I forgot to enter the code. I was like, oh my God, like I'm an idiot. So, but whatever I just figured okay it's just so I, I wasn't gonna make a fuss about it like it's supporting the artist <laughs> or at least the artist artist daughter in this case Ella so yes Chatelaine sale time plenty of other Black Friday sales are coming up I know I saw one for under the sea fabrics um Fortnite fabrics is having one for like their gift cards or something um don't know if I, I might have seen something for Bestitch Me, but don't quote me on that. So like, I don't know if you got a favorite fabric company or if you've seen some fabrics that I have from certain companies and you're wanting to get some, start checking their website, see if they got a sale going on. You might be able to catch a deal. So yay. Black Fridays is for you guys, not just for shopping for other people. Woohoo. Okay. I do have a little bit of haul to go over, just a little bit. Um, so let's do that now. And, okay, so I almost always have some kind of a cart going at one, two, three stitch. And I do this thing where I put everything I want presently that's like bugging me in my cart. Then I look at my cart and I'm like, eh, I don't like that total. So I walk away. <laughs> and then I come back, I maybe pull some things out, put some other things in. Eh, I don't like that total. Walk away. But nothing's, it's it's one of those like, nothing's pressing me type things. A lot of stuff that ends up going in and out of my car is fabric. Pictureless Plus fabric specifically. So, but anyway, something came up this past week that kind of pushed me to, I need to make an order. And the specific thing I was after is a Krennic Metallic that is being discontinued. <laughs> So, Krennic Metallic, I follow them on Facebook. They posted that they are discontinuing the color, let's see, is it the same for, yes, 029L, which is a holographic. It's a lot of fun. And they post discontinued threads every now and then, but when they posted this one, I was like, I like that color. And I thought... I don't know if I have anything in my stash or coming up that calls for this. And I would be very sad if I found out that I don't have it and it's been discontinued and now it's like 10, 15, 20, whatever dollars on eBay. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go to one, two, three stitch, see if they have it. They did. So I bought two spools of the blending filament. That's this one. The holographic shows up very well on it. And then I bought two spools of the number four braid because typically even if a chart calls for number eight braid, I will just buy the number four braid. 
because it's easier to deal with. It's about the same size as the Petite Treasure Braid, which a lot of people like better than Krennic Metallics. I iron my threads, and doing that, I don't really notice the difference between them. I don't mind using metallics either. The sparkle is worth the barbed wire sensation to me. So, with that in my cart, and knowing it's being discontinued, maybe other people are going after it, I decided, okay, I need to buy some stuff. So, but I did cherry pick my cart again, because I don't want to be spending a lot of money. <laughs> so, a lot of the fabric got yeeted. But I got my Krennic Metallic here. That was the main goal. Then I picked up a couple of um, Rainbow Gallery threads, like, just, just for fun. And that and I'm working on, like, some conversions, which I won't get into this video. It's one of the things, like, I'm working on this conversion. I'm excited about it, but I also don't trust it. Because there was one time I was doing a conversion for uh, Mermaids of the Deep Blue, I think it was, a Mirabella design where there's two mermaids. And I was all excited about it. And I started stitching it with my conversions, and I hated it. I thought it looked awful. So, with that in mind, I'm working on this conversion. I want to start getting it stitched before I say too much about it. Just because I don't want to be like, oh my god, guys, look at this, it's awesome. And then maybe be like, never mind, it's ugly. <laughs> So I've been picking up a couple threads for fun conversions. That and I was like, oh my god, this is pretty. So this is a petite treasure braid. This is la 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 la. Oh my fingers over it. Petite braid 203. It's just pretty. I like it. This one's a silk lame. So this is like a silk interwoven with metallic. Love that. This is SP38. Just thought that was pretty. And then this one's interesting. This is called Gold Rush. And it's, uh, let's see, Gold Rush 18. It's GD110C. It's thicker, but I just thought it looked like peacock feathers. Like it looks green on the screen, but it definitely has kind of a peacock kind of, kind of iridescent quality to it. I do think of the three. This one's my favorite. So yay, more sparklies. And then I have been hankering for some Victoria samplers. So I got a couple charts that I had been eyeballing. And ironically, some of these are Christmas charts, which isn't usually my jam, but I don't know, I was feeling it. So this is the Heirloom Stitchers sampler. I really like this one, it's cute. And I like most of the Heirloom designs. They're usually pretty, they usually have really pretty Hardinger at the bottom. And the hurting on the bottom of this one, let's see here, there's dove's eyes, um, there's some eyelids, uh, yeah, there's some that I, woven scotch stitch looks like, which I think I practiced once, but I don't think I've ever done a finished piece with it, so I'm like, that looks like fun, and I like that there's another little bit of Hardinger right there, thought that was cool. I'm nearsighted, that's why I take my my glasses off to read. I take them off to stitch too, which is one reason why I've been wearing my glasses more. Just because if I have my contacts in and I come home and I want to stitch, I gotta take my contacts out and sometimes I just can't be bothered, you know? So the glasses, I can just take them off and put them back on and it's easy. So I've just been wearing the glasses a lot more lately. This is the Christmas gazebo sampler. The main reason I got this is because I like the cardinals <laughs> above, the, um, above the Hardinger. You know, we have cardinals here in Ohio, and they don't fly south for the winter, so when it snows, the cardinals look so pretty in the snow, so I was just like, oh, cardinals. It's our state bird, too, which I think cardinals are a state bird for like five states or something. It is a pretty bird, so can't blame them. This is the Carol Singer Sampler. I don't know, I was just digging the Christmas vibes on this one. I will say, when I stitch Santa, he ain't going to be whipping them reindeer. Uh-uh, we ain't having that. No animal cruelty here. And I'm gonna give Rudolph a like a bead or something for a red nose, because that has to happen. Because obviously that's Rudolph there, you know. And I like the Hardinger at the bottom. Let me see what if there's any. It's like woven scotch stitch, dove eyes. Yep, that's all. That's all stuff that I've done before. So cool. But I do like that it's like bicolored, like the bottom part's green, and if they have mounted over red. So I think that's cool. I'm excited. 
Don't know when I'm going to start any of those. I've got still um, the... What's it called? It's the Halloween one, trick or treat. There's a couple of them. There's like the uh, Stitching Witches. That's not the one I'm talking about though. Uh, it's like trick or treat night, I think. Keep meaning to start that one. I just haven't yet. Okay, so that was some haul. Here's a little more haul. I had mentioned this in my previous video. I had like ordered it, it just hadn't arrived yet. This is the new Bella Filipina deity. Tala deity of the stars isn't she beautiful i love her i love the color of her dress it's like this mint color and it's got purples and i love her pose i like how twisty everything is and <laughs> i already got my fabric picked out for her oh i'll show you too i uh got this from uh, Leslie at Under the Sea Fabrics. She sells like a bead pack and a fiber pack. And I got them. I got the chart, fiber pack, and the bead pack all together. I think I, yeah, there's a little sticky note. There is one braid missing. It's a petite braid. And she's going to send that as soon as it's available. Just put like a little note in there. And I dug through this because I'm like looking at some of these and I'm like, yeah, we're converting some of y'all. That's, that's happening. <laughs> I also have some star Swarovski treasures that I'm going to be substituting just because they're cooler than the Mill Hill glass treasures. <laughs> There's a copper braid, a yellow braid, a rainbow braid, and a typical like pearlescent blade. blade braid told you my mouth doesn't work sometimes with these braces and oh my god fabric okay refresh here she is i think she's pictured on what is it does it say no i'm looking at it though i would uh, she typically or he not she misgendering my bad um Typically, the Bella Filipina designs are featured on usually like a Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers fabric, but I don't recognize the one here, but it's like dark blue. Wow. I think you guys know what kind of fabric I think is perfect for Miss Deity of the Stars. This is more Galaxy Fabric by Mystic Fabrics. This is a half yard right here. I basically bought a full yard. Well, I bought a fat quarter, loved it, messaged wanting to buy a full yard, and she offered to send me the half and other quarter that came from the quarter I had. So basically, I had a full yard. So that first yard went to Miss Pisces girl there, which cut in half, actually. I still have the other half somewhere. Then I've got the other quarter set aside for um, Temptress of the Curse C. And I've decided I am stitching her on that. You guys all voted to do her on that. And I'm like, yeah, she just needs to be done on that. So now I'm going to have a deity of the stars on this fabric. Oh, I think it's going to be fabulous. And I will have pretty much used up a whole yard almost of this fabric. I don't need this whole thing. Probably this right here is all I need. So I'll have this piece back here set aside for something else. But I think this, because this piece I think is funner. There's more dark splotches on this one. I like the colors on this one better. So I'll probably be using this for her. Oh, yes, I'm so ready. It's going to be great. I don't have the floss for her yet. I am tempted to get it soon, though, because I do like her. That and I like her because she's a deity, you know? Like, I'm doing all these mermaids, you know? Like, got a couple queens going. I want a deity, you know? Like... I'm getting ready to start several deities, but I'm like, I'm really digging this girl. So I'm thinking I might start her. So that, and I love this fabric. So that's going to happen. And I'm excited for that. Woohoo. Let me get these all put away here. So I'm excited. Um, so for next year I did pre like went over like kind of like my goals and stuff and I decided I'm gonna save that for my next video I did want to touch on it just a little bit 
next year I think I am going to have new year new start itis because this whole year basically I've been wanting to start all the things but for some reason couldn't make myself do it either was busy or felt obligated to work on other stuff I have decided January 2023 I am having a free-for-all I am going because I have so many pieces that are ready to start I just need to throw them on the bars put the stitches in I've got the floss I've got the beads I've got the fabric I've got everything for it and I just need to start it so I'm going to have a free-for-all for like the, the first quarter that's kind of what my plans for next year are so the next video I'm going to go through that a little more I'll show you guys here okay here here's the agenda the hit list you know what I'm gonna get started so off the top of my head I know I'm gonna hit a couple shadow lanes like I've had Japanese Zen moss garden pretty much fabrics ready I just need to get it you know taped up on the bars and get it started start the center get that all going Caribbean mandala same thing got the fabric picked just got to get it on the bars need to iron it too um let me see do I have a few others I really want to start poison garden but I still haven't landed on a fabric for that one so I'm gonna have to start looking for that a little bit uh la 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 I want to start some of the smaller mandalas like the um the tiles, which I've got that on my shopping list for the Shadlane sale. That's another thing I'll save for the next video because I'm trying not to make my purchase at that sale too quick. Because what happens is I buy a bunch of bead packs. They arrive before the sale's over. And then I get all excited and I'm like, the sale's still going on. I can buy some more beads. Oh my God. So I'm trying to wait until the sale's closer to over so I don't be naughty. So yeah, there's that. Okay. So yeah, next video, new year, new start itis is what's going to go on. This video, I've got some giveaways. So how the giveaways are going to work. I've got three for tonight for you to enter. I will tell you a word to put in the comments. You also have to be a subscriber. I don't think that's too much to ask. Um, I've got three kind of different packages and I'll tell you what word to put in for whatever package you want. If you want all three, feel free to throw all three words in your comment. Uh, you don't have to write like a detailed comment or artistic comment. It's not an essay. You know, if you want to just type the word and be done, that's fine too. I won't take it personally. That's fine. Um, and then... I am probably going to have another giveaway in my next video because what I want to do is I want to announce the three packages for giveaways tonight here and then the next video I will do one of those random YouTube comment picker things and I will announce the winner in that video and then I'll announce the new packages for December so my hope is that the ones that I have now I can have announced and maybe on the way you know before Christmas and then the other ones can be kind of maybe an after Christmas thing so just you know just trying to spread it out a little bit also this is open for internationals the only thing I will ask is if like it turns out like the shipping is like $50 or something I might be like hey <laughs> here's what the shipping is gonna cost if you can chip in, you know, a little bit, that'd be great. You know, if you aren't comfortable with that, you know, possibly then if you want, I can send you a shipping estimate, you know, but I would just say like, if you're, if you totally do not want to pay a single thing for shipping and you're overseas, just don't enter for them. You know, I mean, there's some things that definitely one of these packages is going to be heavier than the others and that's probably the only one that would be like if I'm shipping it overseas it would be like Ugh, you know so but and it just depends too you know because sometimes postage is so weird like there's times I've sent like something pretty light to Australia and it cost me an arm and a leg and there's times I've sent heavy stuff to I don't know Russia and it's reasonable you know also um if your package gets lost <laughs> Please don't ask me to replace it. I don't have more of these items, you know, so if it gets lost, you know, that sucks, you know, but it's one thing that we have to suffer with. So, I mean, I know it sucks. It's happened to me before too, 
but you know this at the end of the day this is free stuff so please don't ask me to replace it if your package somehow gets lost okay so let's go to the giveaways all right first one package number one this one i'm calling the save me package <laughs> because I feel like you are doing me a favor by taking this off my hands. And this is a package of Ada. Now, I am going to say, I'll show you all the pieces too. I don't feel like this is nice Ada. It's mostly been pulled out of kits. I feel like I have more than this too, but um, if I find it, I'll throw it in as, as well. Like this isn't super nice Ada. It's that kind of stiff Ada. I know there's nice, nicer Ada out there. I try not to be too prejudiced against it because I know there is like, which this, you know, it's kind of a, I think this is Ada. I'm not even sure. This might be even leaf, but whatever. My mom gave it to me. Um, I know there's nicer Ada out there, but I would not say that this is it. You know, like a lot of this is the very stiff type Ada. I've got a lot of navy blue. There's a lot of black. Um... I can't tell you what all the counts are. Some of this is definitely 14 count, and this one, well, this one's smaller. I don't know. The counts vary. I have no idea what the counts are. So that's why I'm calling this the Save Me Package, because you're doing me a favor, uh, and you're saving this package from ending up in the garbage. More black. I think this one came from, I bought that kit with that wizard on it. I think that's what this one's from. And then this is, oh, no, I thought it was gray for a second, but it's not. But yeah. Now, since I feel like this is kind of a womp womp <laughs> package, just because, like, even if you like Ada, this probably isn't very nice Ada to you, I am throwing in a few more pieces of fabric to sweeten the deal a little bit. So, with this package of Ada, I am throwing in... A piece of linen, opal linen. This is a fat quarter by Mystic Fabrics, and it's the Aurora color. I just have a lot of fabric in this color and was like, I can get rid of this one. So that's what this piece looks like here. And this is looking very blotchy on the screen. It's not quite as blotchy, but this is purples, blues, and kind of a minty green. And it's opalescent. And it is 28 count. And that's from Mystic Fabrics. So that's to sweeten the deal a little bit. <laughs> then I got a cute little package from Under the Sea Fabrics of like some ornament cuts in various fabrics and sizes and colors. But it's like an ornament cut. I just didn't think I was going to use it. Here's kind of a pink, and this is 32 count Belfast, kind of a pink. This is, they've got little little stickers on it, it says what it is. This is 32 count Jubilon, and this is in the Brigade color. Um, ooh, this one's kind of cool. Uh, this is 28 count Cashiel, Changing Leaves. I think I got this for free, like when I ordered some fabric, I think it was just like in there and I was just like, oh, cool, thanks. So this is 32 count Belfast. This is 32 count Belfast. And this is 32 count Jobalon lily pad. So a little, little packet of fabby fabby. So that's going in there too. I'm still sweetening the deal here. This is the one that's going to be heavy, by the way, <laughs> because it's a bunch of pieces of fabric. Then I've got, this one's nice. I kind of don't like getting rid of this, but this is a piece of Fortnite fabrics. And this is 36 count linen. And this was one of their... Um, like their auctions that they posted and whoever claims the piece, piece first gets it. And it's this just pretty blue and kind of brown, kind of a natural, kind of like it. But to be fair, I bought two fairly similar pieces. So, oh, and their fabric smells good, oh my God. You get this, take a sniff of this and tell me that this doesn't smell good. 
So adding that in. And one last piece. This is from Fabrics by Stephanie. And this is Joe Belon 28 count. And this is very damp. I think when I got this piece, um, I went on a stitching hiatus for like 10 years. And when I came back to stitching from it, I could not remember what fabric I liked the best. So I started buying a bunch. So this is like Easter colors, purple, pastel blue, pastel pink, and a even weave. So there's that. That's fairy dance. So yeah, that is the first package. So if you would like to enter to win this package, use the word rescue <laughs> in your comment. Also, do not use the word giveaway. I, I want to win the giveaway. Apparently, if you use giveaway in your comments, it's going to attract an army of trolls. So we don't want that. So do not use the word giveaway. The word rescue is all you need to use. I would like the rescue package. I'll rescue you, Lori. I'll rescue the Ada, Lori. Just simply the word rescue. As long as, because I'm going to use one of them searches, so... I'm going to type in the word rescue and everybody that has rescue in their comment, it's going to find that and it's going to randomly pick a winner from that. So I'm also going to send it in this cool little stash bag because those are fun and fun and handy. So this is the, the chubbiest of all the packages that will be going out from these. So that is the first one. The next one. Oh, I almost forgot with that fabric. <laughs> I also have this little bitty kit. It came with something else. And it's cute, but I'm probably not going to stitch it. So it's going in with the rescue package. So yours, if you want the rescue package. Okay, next package. This one, this one's kind of my, kind of low-key my favorite. Um, this is Lori's favorite things. <laughs> so this is a, a goodie bag of a lot of stuff. So... What will you get in this goodie bag? Okay, let me pull out some of the more random things. Okay, so I have some Nymo beading thread. Cause that's my favorite and it's bomb for beading with. I've got some Swarovski, not Swarovski. These are da, 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 da. Crystal Passions. And these are Jet AB times two. Um, substitution for Peacock, um, which are discontinued. I have a bunch of these, so I think I ordered these specifically to give away. So, some Swarovski Crystal Bicones. These are four millimeter, the usual ones that are on uh, Chatelaine's. I have a handful, random handful, of Mill Hills from like kits that I have converted to Delicas. So I'm trying to organize them so you can see which ones you're getting. Some of these I recognize as belonging to Renaissance Mermaid. Others, I'm not really sure where they came from. Probably some other kind of mermaid. So here's the random pile of Mill Hill beads. And most, I don't think I opened any of these. Because I just got them and used them for converting. Also, since Mill Hill are not my favorite, you get a tube of Delicas. These are basically clear um, iridescent. So these are good, like a good basic bead. Uh, the specific color is 051. This is a color that I think everybody should have. It's just kind of an icy, rainbowy, iridescent, clear bead. I think everybody should have one of those. Lori likes her sparkly threads as well. So here is some, let's see, Petite Treasure Braid 26. That's a good braid to have. I think that was a duplicate or an extra that I had in a kit. I have, if you're using metallic thread, I think a needle threader and one of these sturdy ones work good. So I have that thrown in there for you. I have a cast off piece of Da Vinci. I believe this is 32 count Belfast. This is the end of the piece that I cut off for the shark piece that I did up there. 
If I remember, I will serge this for you, but don't hold me to that. <laughs> but yeah, just a opalescent piece of Da Vinci. And this is the weird piece of Da Vinci that I got from when I ordered it directly from Picture This Plus and it took like six months to come and it was more purple than I'm used to Da Vinci being. So kind of a little cast off piece there. And then don't get too excited when you see this. This is um, an acrylic clay by cam needle minder. And I think this was before I could catch any dragons or anything. And I just wanted something by her, so I grabbed this trident. So this is not clay, it's acrylic. I think the back is clay though, like her designs usually are. But yeah, the clay by cam needle miner, not made out of clay. So it's in this little thing here. And then the last thing that's in this Lori's Favorite Things package, if I can get this put away, oh my gosh, get in there, is some John James beading needles, number 10. I love these. These are my favorite thing for beading. So, if you're really into beading, sparklies, here you go. I'm going to hook you up. So, the code word for this package is favorite. So be careful if you're talking about maybe my, um, hang on, I'm trying to make sure I bumped my, there we go, I bumped my laptop, I was afraid it's going to come on. Um, so make sure if you're like talking about my finished framed objects, oh, my favorite one is the Taj Mahal, because so, okay, then you're going to be entering into this one. But I couldn't figure out a better word, so... Package of favorites or baby rattle mail if you use the word favorite. Okay. Now, package number three, the last one. Do you guys think I faked you out with a non clay, clay by Kim Needle Minder? Who wants a dragon? You guys can have this guy. It's adorable. I love him. But I have lots of blue, because he's a blue one. I have lots of blue ones that I would grab before him. And I know there's lots of people out there that don't have clay by cams or can't catch them or whatever. Who wants the clay by cam? Code word for this guy is dragon. I want the dragon, just dragon. Don't say dragon's my favorite because then you're entering two unless you wanted to enter two. If you have a preference like, oh my God, I really want to enter the dragon, then I suggest you just enter the dragon because if you say, oh, my favorite is the dragon and I pick you for the favorite one, you're probably not going to get the dragon one because I'm going to pick these in order. So this is the last one I'm going to draw for because I figure this one's probably going to, well, you know, like... <laughs> figure I don't know I'm just guessing a lot of people are gonna want this one that's just my thoughts there the specific type of dragon what are you I think he was called an indigo dragon I'm trying to let me change the light a little bit so you guys can see him better here we go he looks kind of purple in this but he's not he's like a uh, white and blue I did like him when I got him because I thought his wings looked tie-dyed that was cute. But yeah, if you would like him, Merry Christmas from me to you. Yeah, so that is number three. And stay tuned for the next giveaway. Maybe there's more. We'll see. So those are the giveaways. So add in the comments down below which one you want. If you want the package of fabric, rescue is the keyword. If you want the bundle of beaded sparkly goodness, that is favorite for the code word. If you want the clay by Kim blue dragon needle minder, the keyword is dragon. So that's pretty much all for today. 
I will see you guys on the next video. I'm going to try to maybe post around middle of December, before Christmas at least. No promises though. Um, I will probably draw the winners before I film. You know, I'm not going to do it live just because I tend to film on my phone, you know, and I'm probably going to use the app on my phone. So I can't do both at the same time. So I'll probably shoot for mid-December. So if you're watching this video like way far, you know, all this stuff's probably gone at this point. You know, if this is, you know, late November 2022. If you're watching in 2023, these these are all called for, <laughs> you know, so don't be commenting past, you know, 2023. You know, it's over. So, but if it's, you know, not December yet of 2022, then stay tuned, make your comment and wait for the next video because I'm probably going to have another giveaway. I've got a couple other little piles of things to give away. So, and partially... I want to spread the stitchy kindness, you know, I don't want any money for this, you know, unless like you live in, I don't know, Iceland and it would cost me a hundred dollars to send you a clay by chem needle miner. Then I might hit you up and be like, Hey, you know, I need to help me out with the shipping costs a little bit. Again, if you're not comfortable with that, then please don't enter in it. Um, if you are not comfortable with the idea of me shipping it to you or giving me your address, please don't enter. Also, please be over the age of 18. So you don't have to bother with asking permission from parents or anything like that. I don't know that any of my viewers are under the age of 18, but you know, you never know. So please be over the age of 18. So you can comfortably give me your address so I can send these things to you. All that fun stuff. This is Stitchy Kindness. You're doing me a favor by making room in my own collection, you know, for the stuff that I truly love. Um, I'm trying to downsize a little bit. Spread the stitchy kindness, spread the Clay by Kim love, you know. So anyways, I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving or happy Indigenous Peoples Day. Uh, however you want to celebrate or not celebrate. I hope that goes well for you. I will see you guys in the middle of December with the next video. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.